Welcome to Jetta's Craft Cottage. Today we're going to make another type of playing card holder using old CDs or DVDs. Let's get started. You will need two pieces of fabric that are 8 inches by 8 inches, some fusible batting which is also 8 inches by 8 inches and you can tell it's fusible by the bumpiness on one side. You can feel the glue on the back of the batting two old CDs, some coordinating buttons with your fabric, two of those, some embroidery floss that match your buttons, some scissors, some markers, and a seven and a half inch circle, either a plate or a template that you have cut out either from plastic or cardboard. First you want to press the eight inch fusible batting, and you can feel the glue on this side, to the fabric, which is the eight inches. And I'm going to use a pressing cloth to protect my iron and my pad. You're going to do this to both pieces. Next you want to take your plate or your template and place it on top of the batting side and draw a circle around it with a marker. This is a, a water-based marker, but you could even use a regular marker. It will not show up. Now you want to cut these circles out. Now we have two of them cut out. With a double thread and knotted at the end, I'm going to make stitches that are about a quarter of an inch around the side. We're doing a running stitch to gather the fabric. Now we'll assemble the CDs. I'm going to measure in about two and a quarter inches. I want to find the middle of my a circle and using either a white pencil or one of these blue markers, you want to make an X right in it. You can feel the hole from the CD. Now we have some markings that we can go by. I'm using the embroidery floss and I have doubled the thread. I've used all six strands of the thread. I'm going from the inside and I'm going just off the center because I have four holes in this button and I'm going to stick it in. Pull it up, put it through my button. And we're going to put the first stitch into it, just going straight through. Now I want to connect it to the second disc, so we're going to go right through and find just off the center, maybe about uh, an eighth of an inch off. And we're going to add the second button. 
Now each time you go through, you're going to be connecting each button. So you're going to go through the hole here and then going through the hole to find the hole on this second button. And you're just going to continue doing that. You want to finish this off. You don't want the tail of your thread to show through. So I'm going to go through the button and not touch the other button. And I'm just going to pull the button up a little bit so that I can bring my needle through. And I'm going to wrap it around two times. And then I'm going to make a loop in it. and tie it off. Now your card holder is complete. This is a great way to use your CDs that have been scratched or the DVDs that are no longer in use. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. A day without sunshine is just an extra day for crafting.